Welcome back guys for another episode of Mafia 2. So last episode we took Clemente out. We, we went to a war basically. We just started a war with another family and Marty died because <laughs> Joe took him with us. But now we're going home. I think we're going home. Yeah, we're going home. While Joe is mourning. For Marty. Marty. I think it was uh, back then, even if they're, if they're like across the green bridge, they can still like see me. I'm um, like, they can still see me as speeding. I was like, what? I mean, yeah, you can, but how are you gonna get over here? Ah. Close. Slow down. Slow down. I'm going to speed limit right now. You just see it immediately. There's like a uh, like a line of like rich and like ghetto. Or like the suburbs, basically. Grab some help actually first. I'm about to die. Wait, I think going to sleep will change that. I think that's fine. If not, we'll. Oh, wrong door. If not, we're just gonna go grab a bite. Alright, let's use the bed. Phone is ringing again. Okay, so I do need to grab something to eat. Hello. Yeah. Uh, is this a uh, veto? Who's asking? Name's Leon. I'm the bartender at the Lone Star. I'm ringing you because Joe Barbaro gave me your number. Says he's a friend of yours. Yeah. What about him? Well, old Joe been guzzling my top shelf hooch all night long, dribbling on about some cat named Marty, and now he done just gone playing salty on me. What the hell are you talking about? Your friend is out of control, man. He all waving his gun around and shit, and we can't talk no sense to him. <sighs> Great. Now look, I ain't looking for no trouble with you fellas. Could you please come pick his drunk ass up before he shoots somebody or somebody calls the police? Veto. You got to come on down here and pick his ass up. You coming or not? All right, I'll be right there. And hey, don't give him any more booze till I get there. I'm a try, but your friend, he ain't gonna be down with that. You dig? Hey, if you don't cut him off right now, I'm gonna cut you off when I get there. Got it? All right, man, all right. Just hurry. All right, how many people are in the bar right now? Just me now. Joint was jumping about an hour ago, but now everybody done gone and split. All right, listen. Lock the place up till I get there. I'll be there in a minute. Okay, gotcha. Oh my god, and Joe's uh, Joe is drunk. Let me grab something to eat real quick. Cool. Always the suit. Nothing like a designated driver. Oh, wrong button. 
also actually, have you guys ever picked up anybody, like one of your drunk friends from a bar who's just so drunk that you don't even know what to do with them anymore? If you do, if you have an awesome story, let me know, put it down in the comments. Or it's either if like you prick, if it's someone that you picked up drunk, or what is your most drunk story like how do you uh, um like when oh my god here we go that was close by okay damn right, let's pick him up oh Vito you All here right. where is he over in the corner there now look I tried to cut him off but the motherfucker was gonna air my ass out if I did Okay, lock that door, and just give me a minute with him. Had a couple, huh? How you feeling? Vito, about time you showed up. Everybody went home already. Gee, Joe, I wonder why. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> right. You drive here? Ah, I took a cab. I wouldn't park my car in this neighborhood. All right, finish your drink and let's go. You fellas about to leave? Marty, I'll let you out. Here's to you, kid. You went out like a man. Shit, now where'd I put my keys? I'm so <coughs> sorry, kid. This never should have happened. Never should have happened. Oh, Jesus! Ah, shit. You gotta be kidding me. What the fuck is wrong with you? I was just... You were just what? Shut your fucking mouth and get your drunk ass outside. All right, all right, I'm gone. Oh, Jesus Christ. Where am I dragging this body? What the hell? I keep seeing Indian cars um, in this game. I don't know if I have not seen an Indian car before. I've seen um, motorcycles that's made by Indian, but I've never seen one that's made by that that they made uh, a car made by Indian. Are you serious? Oh my God! I gotta crash into it. That is, that is stupid. What the hell? What for? Stay back there, stay back there, stay back there, please. Oh my god. Please stay, please stay there, please stay there, please stay there, please stay there. Please stay there. Okay, cool. Alright, I'm not wanted anymore. Why the hell did they immediately up? Yeah. Is it because I broke something? Because I broke the gate? Oh my god. Where am I going anyways? Am I going to Joe's? Okay, we are going to Joe's apartment first. 
What about the body though? That was close. Like literally right at, almost in, like next to the cop car. Right, we're here. Try not to shoot anybody on the way to the front door, huh? Thanks, Vito. And hey, I'm sorry about... Look, just call me tomorrow, okay? Okay. Dump the body in a dis... and be discreet. Okay. Where are we going now? Where are we going? Oh, is that? The, it is a scrapyard. It's so foggy. I'm trying not to crash. Whoa. That was close. So we okay, we're crashing it. Okay, use the upstairs to use the crusher. Ah, oh, shit, what a day. I should go home now. I got another people. Hey, Joe. Dude, if you're alive, that's like, that's like the suckiest way to have a job. Let's hold pick. Let's pick this car. Car is almost out of gas. I think. I think. I don't know. I don't know how to tell if it's full or not. Let's actually stop on a gas station along the way if we get to find one. But I don't know. Yeah. Let, let's try get a. for this car. Am I just close by to the house? To my apartment? Or my house, I guess? Uh, a little bit. Waste. A little bit, a little bit far. Not that far, though. Just a little bit. I wish I wish we could turn on the radio to make this driving a little bit more better, but I don't want to edit everything. YouTube doesn't let me upload anything with some just a little bit music in it. Okay, we are close by to the house. I don't even think yeah, we're not even gonna pass any gas stations. Oh, I think I, I think I see the 
the line. Oh, we're thick of fool right now. Oh, we'll see. Oh my god, I hit last. Like the. Oh my god, I hit it. Go to bed. Checking out. Oh, and I got another achievement. Oh, okay, because we completed chapter 10. Chapter 11 A Friend of Ours. Who the hell is that? Who the hell is that? <laughs> oh my god, we had the same... The same... <laughs> we had the same reaction for it. I just didn't... I didn't know that that's what he's actually gonna say. Hey, Vito. Henry! Long time no see. Sure. Long time. What do you want, Henry? A drink. Let's take my car. Alright. Well, I guess you know Clemente's dead, along with everybody else. Yeah. Listen, Vito, I know Falcone had something to do with this. And I'm worried that he's gonna want to take out what's left of the family. And I should care about this, why? Well, yeah, look, about you going away. I'm sorry for what Clemente did to you, but he got what was coming to him, right? I don't give a rat's ass about that old bastard. Matter of fact, I work for Falcone just the same. You saying you want to join up with us? Yeah, and since you work for him, I thought uh, maybe... You think you could put in a good word for me? Yeah, sure. Me and Joe can vouch for you. Hey. Thanks, Fido. Henry is I owe you one. Joining the family. So, uh, how's life? You mean before or after half the guys I know got killed? That business at the hotel. You wouldn't know anything about that, would you? Got no idea what you're talking about. That's funny. Because a buddy of Joe's got popped in the parking lot that day. So I just figured you two in on it. Buddy of Joe's? Who are you talking about? You know, that fucking kid used to come into Freddy's with Joe all the time. What's his name? Uh, Mikey, uh, Mickey, whatever the fuck his name was. You mean Marty? Yeah, yeah, that's the kid. Get a voice like fucking Minnie Mouse. Yeah, yeah, I heard about that. So you sure you weren't there that day? You're positive. Let's put it this way. Me and Joe were out taking care of something for our boss that day. That's all I'm gonna say. You know what? It don't matter anyway. But do me a favor, would you? Yeah, sure. Next time, get a better disguise than a phony fucking mustache. I saw you two pricks from a mile away. You know what? Can we please not talk about this right now? Wherever again? Don't worry about it. You did what you had to do. <laughs> I knew it. Those you ever get the feeling you be better off in a different line of work? To be honest with you, not really. This is what I am. What I'm good at. Yeah. Man, I guess it pays a hell of a lot better than being a fucking taxi driver. I was thinking about skipping town after that business at the hotel. But where am I gonna go? What am I gonna do? That's why I came to see you. So I was your last resort, huh? Thanks. Enough or nothing, how come you came to see me and not Joe? Look, uh, Joe's solid. But I wouldn't exactly want him speaking on my behalf. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Can't argue with you there. True. Uh, dang. Uh, that was a red light, you know. Was that Joe or was it Henry? I don't know. It sounded <laughs> it sounded like Joe just a little bit. Yeah, yeah. I know we're going the wrong way, but it's right here. All right, let's go. Oh my God! What I pressed. Hey, hey, Vito. You got that money for me? Always keep my word, don't I? Here you go. Don't spend it all in one place. Thanks. 
Where's Joe? Uh, he was here before, but then he left. Looked pissed off. Though lately, he always looks pissed off. Yeah, can you blame him? Listen, uh, I need to talk to you about something. Well, what, is it important? I'm busy with Vinci right now. He's planning to make a move on us, and we don't know how or why. I, I, I gotta sort this shit out. Yeah, well, I think it's worth hearing me out. All right, go ahead, but make it quick. All right, a guy I know who worked for Clementi called me. He's worried. He's not sure if we'll be going after the rest of Clementi's guys or not. Oh, that's good. As far as I know, the boss ain't planning nothing at this point, unless they try something stupid. Okay, well, this guy also asked me if he could come work for us. Yeah? Who is it? What, is he a friend of yours? I did a few jobs with him for Clementi. Really knows his shit. <sighs> okay, tell him to stop by. <laughs> well, uh, he's here right now. <laughs> uh, he is? <laughs> All right, go get him then. Eddie, this is Henry Tomasino. Henry, this is Eddie Scarpa. Pleased to meet you, Mr. Scarpa. Don't call me Mr. Scarpa. My friends call me Eddie. Now take a seat, Henry. So, Vito tells me you want to join up with us. Yeah, I'm out of work right now. And I don't want to make a big deal out of what happened. Now that's good thinking. Tell me something first, Henry. Were Clementi and Vinci planning anything against our organization? <sighs> okay. I usually keep my nose out of things like that. But I was with Luca Garino once at Leo Galanti's place, and Luca was going on and on about Falcone being involved in some dirty business and that something should be done about it. I think he was trying to turn Vinci against you. That bastard. I'll bet he was talking about drugs all the while he's dealing them himself. He knows that Vinci is totally against us. Yeah, probably fooled the old man good. So that's why he's planning to move on us. No, we gotta hit him first. Again? Hey, if we don't act, Frank will. First, we gotta get rid of Galante. Without him, Frank's fucked. Leo? I wanted to keep you out of it, but I didn't have anybody else who could pull off a job like this. Now I'm thinking this could be the perfect opportunity for Henry here to prove himself. What do you say, Henry? You up for it? If it means I'm in when the job's done, sure. Exactly. Take care of Leo. And what about you, Vito? I'd feel a lot better if you went with Henry to make sure everything goes smooth. I don't mean you gotta whack the guy. Just drive there, wait until it's done, and drive back. But if it don't feel right, I can ask somebody else instead. What do you say? Sorry, Eddie, I can't do this. Leo was like a father to me back in the can. Yeah, I understand. Well, it looks like you gotta take care of this yourself, Henry. You can hire some help if you want, but you gotta do this so nobody suspects it was us. Leo lives in Highbrook. Got it, don't worry. It'll be done today. Okay, you better get going in. See you later, Eddie. It's a good thing you brought him here. Even if he screws up, nobody will know it was us. I don't think Henry's gonna screw it up. That's good. Well, Vito, I got nothing else for you today, but uh, drop by tomorrow, okay? Yeah. I'll see you later, Eddie. See ya. No! They're gonna kill Eddie? Oh wait, no, it says Warn Leo. What? Oh my god, it's a four. Ah. Oh my god. Ah! Are you serious right now? Oh, there you go. Ah. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, this thing is fast. So I gotta watch out for cops so that they don't try to pull me over. far is it? Holy crap. At least it's like a straight shot. I have to like keep looking at my map. I want cops to be trying to pull me over. Oh my god. Slippery, slippery, slippery. Quick. 
Kemahan Uh Kari get close, kari get close No! That car! <laughs> ah! I should have just smashed it. Alright, let's try this again. That car last minute, too. Oh my god, get out of the way. Alright, because last last try I spent most of my time uh, pick, picking the lock of this car. I tried to drift that, that corner. Did that help cap just come off? It did. Came off. Get out, get out. Come on, come on. Leo! Leo, you here? How the hell did you get in here? Get out of here! Oh, shove Leo, this Leo, up put here. it away! It's me, Vito! Vito? What the hell are you doing here? You could have called Leo, us. there's no time to talk. You gotta get out of here. Quick, they're after you. What? Come upstairs, Vito. My feet are getting cold. You want a drink? Oh, I want a drink. What the fuck is wrong okay, with you? Okay, so what's happening? Look, Falcone wants you dead. The guys are on their way. You gotta get out what? of here. Why the hell would I do that? Look, Falcone heard Vinci's planning to make a move on him because Clemente lied and said he was in the dope business. Lied? Vito, Carlo Falcone is in the dope business. Everybody knows that. Clemente tried to muscle his way into the business, so Falcone got rid of him. Now he wants to get rid of us, too, before we make a move on him. How do you know all this? I got my sources. Why did you come here again? Why? What, what are you getting senile on me? Because they're gonna kill you! Stop talking, for Christ's sake. Get dressed and let's go. Why don't we just get rid of whoever Carlos sent to whack me? We got the advantage. They don't know what we're expecting. I can't do that. I know the guy. I'm actually the one who got him the job. What? You hired your friend to whack me? No, not exactly. Look, I don't have time to explain. He's gonna be here any minute. Okay, wait here. I'll get dressed. Shit, too late. They're here. Oh, shit. Enemy can't see me here. We gotta hide. Quick, before he comes up here. Okay. Okay. I don't know where I'm going. Too high, too high. Hmm, maybe we can fit in here. You gone nuts? Leo, what the hell are you doing here? All right, take it easy, Henry. Put the gun down and send the guys away. I'm gonna explain everything. Boys. Wait for me outside. If I don't come out in a few minutes, come looking for me. Damn. Take a seat. 
What the hell is going on here? Look, Henry, Leo's a friend of mine, all right? He helped me out when I was in prison. He pretty much saved my life. And he's the reason I got made. Look, I didn't know anyone was gonna put a contract out on him. I had to warn him, you gotta understand. Yeah, but you gotta understand that I can't afford to screw this up. If I let Leo go, Falcone will think I fucked him on purpose and I'll have me killed. Damn it, Henry, I'm your friend here. I do the same thing for you and you know it. This has nothing to do with friendship, Vito. This is business. And if I screw up, I'm done. I can't let him go. I took a contract and I gotta finish the job. If you don't wanna watch, you can leave. And don't worry about me. I won't tell anybody you were here. Look, Leo told me that all of this is because Falcone's into drugs. He's breaking the rules and he wants to get rid of anybody who knows about it. So what? The only people who aren't breaking those rules are Frank Vinci and Leo here. And those aren't the people who pay me. Vito, thanks for everything. But leave us now. I've had a long, good life. And it's not worth risking your neck to buy an old man a few more years. No, Leo. There's gotta be a way. Vito. Go. Sorry, Vito. I won't tell anybody you were here. Just make sure nobody sees you leave. I'm gonna disappear. There's nothing left for me in this town anyway since my wife passed. And I was planning to retire someplace warm anyway. Well, first, let's get out of here before your friend changes his mind. Hey! Drive Leo to the train station. Okay. Where, where do I go? Back door? I seriously- oh there- oh my god, I went around. Leo? Oh, there he is. Oh, nice. Um, I'll pick this because I already have that one. And if you're trying okay, to hide someone. Vito. Now, get me over to the train station if you wouldn't mind. This town's been good to me. Now it's time to say goodbye. You gonna go there in your PJs? Damn right I am. I'd rather be alive in my pajamas than dead in a three-piece suit. True. True. You, uh, gonna tell Frank what happened? Sure I am. But don't worry, I ain't gonna mention your name. You're gonna have enough to worry about as it is. Thanks, Leo. You know, this whole thing got... complicated. Real fast, you know? Of course it did, Vito. What did you expect? You swear the oath, you put on a fancy suit, and then it's one big party? Carlo's always been a shady bastard. Even for guys in this business. I've been warning Frank about him for years. So what are you gonna do now? I'm gonna disappear. Let things run their course. I'm gonna take the first train to Lost Heaven. Make a few phone calls, settle my affairs. And then I'm gonna head for the airport. And I'm gonna go someplace warm. This time tomorrow, I'm gonna be sitting on a beach somewhere, sipping one of them fruity drinks with the umbrella in them. One thing's for sure. If Carlo wants me dead, and staying around here is like buying a one-way ticket to the morgue. Isn't that a little drastic? No, I've been meaning to retire anyway. When you get to be my age, Vito, then all this squabbling starts to seem a little pointless. Frank's never gonna change. He's a brawler. Nowadays, he just listens to the young hotheads because they tell him what he wants to hear. If he wants to be some kind of wise guy sheriff and go after Carlo, then he can do it without me. I'm just sorry I got you into this mess. That was my choice, Leo. All you did was speed things up a little. Besides, what the hell else was I gonna do? Go work on the docks like my old man? <laughs> You're preaching to the choir, kid. I was just waiting for them to be done. Okay. All right, here it is. <clears throat> oh my god. Thanks for everything, Vito. Just promise me that you're never gonna be as stupid as you were today. Risking your neck like this just to buy an old man a few more years. Enjoy your vacation, old man. Okay. Hey. But actually, 
yeah, I'm gonna end the episode here, guys. But alright, uh, guys, because that was a long mission. That was a long episode. Alright, guys, subscribe, like, share, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.